or disappointment. In the circumstances, after the mass is on put in millions of naira into UAG, either through support or through subscription, then you can see all these things as the aftermath of your expenses, of your expenses or support to UAG. The aftermath of it can become disappointment and fail of promises. In the circumstances, what do you expect from the masses? Maybe they applaud UAAG and Apostle Ken Wakama, or maybe they react in this kind of uh, volatile way. Maybe they applaud Apostle Ken Wakama and UAG, or maybe they react in this kind of volatile way, in the sense of utterances. That is it. So the problem when they with UAAG now is being caused by UAAG. And for time, UAAG they try to make the masses to believe say they get external enemy. Not knowing say they external external enemy sometimes na friend, sometimes na friend to the masses in a way, because exactly what did the, the external enemy they talk, tell us about UAAG? Now UAAG they paint out. Now you you depend out for us to believe in. Eh? So you don't go blame the UAAG very well. I don't want to talk before my mama die. At the moment, my mother may have so rest in my so may have so rest in perfect peace. Uh, peace rather. You understand me? But UAAG not try. Apostle Ken Wakama not try. Nobody love Apostle Ken Wakama reached me for grand community before. I beg Apostle Ken Wakama, make you not know, end my anger. Make you not know, end the, the masses hatred, seeing that they love him at that time. The right to fight and die for him at that time. Even me, Kayetan Way Mohammed. No government for this world go hold any... Well, I don't understand, Shami, I don't understand. But anyway, anyway, I believe say, very soon, very, very, very soon, very soon, SFU go invite Apostle Ken Wakama and UAG. Very, very, very soon. God go make him be like that. Talking about uh, the differences between AGPGN and UAG, where they exist now, when I believe they never solve all those special uh, all those special and video conviction, where did they where did they give the masses now for the grand community? I know say now another lie. UAAG eh, and the partners in crime of UAAG, they, they look for lacuna. You had to go for hide their head. They, they look for nothing but a lacuna. There is a logical word called lacuna. Uh -huh. Where they want to dive enter to, to, to get safe heaven. We know. We know. So we know say that lacuna they look for. We know say they don't want to disburse. We know. But the problem within them is even if UAAG go disburse the, their grants according to how they paint them out, according to how they spell them out to the masses before. The one when you go reach the frontiers of UAAG, the orgas of UAAG, it go reach them shop. Even their tenth generation go no go poor again. But Africa, African, they want to have it all. Both the money of bundle head and the money of uh, of uh, common beneficiaries. Even some of the U uh, of the NGOs and CEOs where they want to cut out, they want to shop their money too. Naim, naim the difference is so in our past so some godly people among AGPGN they, they they love the masses they they are ready to die for the masses all these things naim is the major reason why they don't want to sign that money and why the problem see they linger i want to have it all i want to have it all but they forget say the money where they don't do the sorting where they do the bribing, where they do the settlement, arrangement, the movement, everything where they, do, where they make UAG become great today. 
Now from the back pocket of the CEOs and the NGO, and now from the back pocket of the body heads too. And it's on which some beneficiary see the support. Why you now want to sideline these people out of being a beneficiary of this of this of this God given uh, blessing where God when he passed through on a hand UAG? Why you now want to do that? When I say God go alarm, since you now want to make some NGO benefit from the money and CEOs and bundle heads and common beneficiaries, then God go withhold that money instead of them no go get everybody no go get because everybody goes down like that but the masses don't go down like that some action must be taken every action has a reaction but i believe in legal way of reacting to a fraudulent action i believe it legally i don't believe in pulling a trigger upon to kill somebody through assassination, through assassination, through assassination. So please, so please, so please, uh, uh, shalom. So please, shalom. Make you just make you not not to blame honourable uh, Paul. When he's speaking, go to the talk to Apostle Ken Wakama. This my video long ago. Uh huh. off na data before na listen to them. Number uh, number three again. Not be every Igbo people. I love Igbo. Not be every Igbo people. I love Igbo. There are some Igbo people when they really love Igbo nation where where and they don't want to draw the face of Igbo people into the mud that belief where they live in the heart of non Igbo people non Igbo nations say Igbo people they play with you where where say Igbo people they need to trust them for any kind of thing for life at all not be every Igbo, Igbo people like that kind name so when they see any Igbo people when they do that kind of thing eh? Then go come out and fight against that Igbo people so that the rest, the rest non Igbo language, Igbo, Igbo tribe, they go believe say, yes, there are some good people in Igbo, in, in, in Igbo tribe. Every tribe gets their ups and downs. Every tribe gets good people. Every tribe gets bad people. In fact, even me when I talk to me, Taye, my one of my, some of my best friends, my best friend, an Igbo man, that guy helped me for life. I'm not going to lie. But people know them. People know them. People know them. Say, uh -huh, say, uh, they're they they good in tricking people. They're they they good in playing those kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, giving money and I shop the money. All this kind of game. Uh -huh. So people now call the belief say that that kind of thing. Now I post the camera they bring in. You see many people will be Yoruba, will be Hausa. They come here say the UAG uh, country that that's an able man. One thought must come to their mind first. And couple with this kind of way they go on now. I know they, they like to hide secret too. I know they like to hide matter. Now what do they come people mind with that's a naive man now? And I tell you they do now. And I said I don't got shit people now. I don't got shit for money. Now I tell you they do. If people if people, if people man when they sincere you hear this kind of word, he must react. He must react. He must react. Now I make Paul, honorable Paul. They talk to Apostle Ken Wakama like that. The only area where I not like for uh, where I not like for Honorable Paul talk. Uh, the area when you control contain I don't know uh, I don't know what I uh, when you contain threat to Apostle Ken Wakama's daughter. I not like that one. According to you, uh, so uh, Honorable uh, uh, what is your name? Uh, Shalom. You are a man with respect. You understand me? That is for the Igbos. That is for the Igbos. And some Christians are very truthful. They hate dishonesty. They hate dishonesty. They hate lies. All this reason 
all these things, when some Christians hear them, say a whole man of God within their midst is also having this kind of syndrome within in, in him, and they can't swear the name of the religion, they go fight them too. They go insult them. Nobody will mind insult them because there are some Christians who they insult and say they swear their name. He's rubbing the face of, Jesus, of, uh, of uh, Christianity in the mud. This is not what Jesus Christ asked his followers to do. This is not what Jesus Christ or the Bible say if you do, now they will know you as a righteous man, as a God fearing man. Eh, eh. This is not God fearing. This is unlike Christ. This is not Christ like. This is unlike Christ. The way of the apparently oh, the way of Apostle Wakama and UAAG is very much like uh, uh, is very much unlike Christ. Jesus. Jesus Christ never behaved like this at all. And the Bible never instructed anybody to, to behave like this as a way of righteousness. He never took him. He even, Jesus Christ even took him, spelled him out. I think in the book of um, uh, John, if I'm not mistaken. He said, unless your unless righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you can by no way make, you can by no way enter heaven. Your righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. You, you can, if, you, if not, you can, there, there is no way you can enter, you can make heaven. Eternal life is no way. You cannot get eternal life. You cannot get eternal life. You can never get eternal life if your righteousness not exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. So this kind of righteousness now, where did they show for UAG now? So now, the, now, we, now we, you know what's for the righteous, righteousness of scribes and Pharisees? It was. Now, what kind of the righteousness of scribes and Pharisees now did they show us now the masses in UAAG through, uh, by UAAG and uh, Pastor Kamakama inside that community? Remember, oh, I not still hate Apostle Ken Wakama in person, but I hate in character. Now, now, they have to turn a new leaf. The things that are played, their sense go to give them. Their sense go to create a better tomorrow, a better future for them. Now, lie you. Now, lie you. Then they plan, and God himself, they plan without their knowing. And the plan of God, now he goes to supersede their own plan in, in future. At last, 